So okay. there were four folders like that. The Seward Project is looking at correspondence between William Henry Seward and his family. Because I, I honestly can't even tell if this is like a D or an H. These papers were preserved originally because of his public role in life being senator and governor, secretary of state, all of these things, but now researchers are interested in these family aspects. This is 19th century cursive handwriting, which people 20 years old have not been trained in the same way that, that people were when I was a, a, a student. It was something that we did in grade school, but then it wasn't used much. We learned how to write in cursive, but it wasn't something that was very functional. It's hard to transcribe a word if you don't even know it's a word. So you see it and you don't know what it is. That is the opening to our new collaboration with residents of the, the Highlands, the retirement community. I realize you might feel you're a little slow in picking up some of the technology, but when you get to this, you're incredibly faster than the students are. I thought maybe I could do that because I'm interested in history. I love people. And as I told you, I'm nosy. <laughs> I've always had interest in history, and it was uh, just seemed like a in very interesting way to learn more about uh, him and the family. They have this insight that they can bring to it, but even just vocabulary, um, knowing some of these words, the residents are struggling with the technology, but they're so quick with the transcriptions, they fly through it compared to our fastest transcribers here. So we always have to encourage the students to engage in what I call thoughtful transcription. So if what you're typing doesn't make sense, think about it. We have had a computer since way back when they had the first computer, which was humongous. So it works a lot like a typewriter, but with this, with the word processor, you can fix things a lot yes. easier. It was a bit of a hurdle. It's also been very gratifying to learn a number of techniques with the computer that even though I've had an Apple computer for eight or ten years, there were a lot of things I didn't know how to do with it. It's amazing how once you have a little experience with it, it comes back very quickly. It's been joy, complete joy. They are so kind and so interesting and so fun, and they're so knowledgeable. I am learning a great deal from it, and I really enjoy the transcribing. I think it comes easily to me. Once I can get control over that laptop, I'll be fine. <laughs> I've always been a fan of intergenerational collaboration. It changes the way I look at the letters, um, the way that I think about the letters. It helps me to see it from a different perspective, I hope from their eyes a little more. So we see it as an, an enhancing both the educational experience of the students and the, in the building of relationships with people who have a, a lot to contribute to the project and to the to the life on the campus. And I can only um, imagine the ways in which that's going to change the way in which we approach the research questions and what we're able to, to find in these letters that otherwise we wouldn't have seen. A production of the University of Rochester. Please visit us online and subscribe to our channel for more videos.